Hey everybody, I've borrowed a bunch of money both personally and professionally over the course of my career. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty maddening to try to find a bank that gives you an interest rate that you feel is fair. Well, that's where today's video sponsor, Upstart, comes in. Upstart goes beyond the traditional FICO score when assessing your credit worthiness. They reward you based on your education and job history in the form of a smarter interest rate. They make it fast, simple, and easy to check your rate in just a few minutes without affecting your credit score. The best part, once the loan is approved, most people get their funds the very next business day. See why Upstart is ranked number one in their category with over 300 businesses on Trustpilot. Free yourself from the burden of high interest credit card debt by consolidating everything into one monthly payment with Upstart. So regardless of why you need to borrow the money or what you're looking to spend it on, visit upstart.com SSR to see what your rate would be today. It's upstart.com SSR. I put a link in the description. So you remember last video was talking about how Sixth was looking to charge me for a full replacement wheel for a surface scratch. And I push back, and like, I'm, look, I'm in the industry. I'm not looking for any special treatment. I don't see what the reason is to replace the wheel and then charge me this much money when I know it could be fixed for substantially cheaper. And I laid that out there and I allowed them to respond. And this is how they did. Dear Mr. Ferretti, we have received your email dated 16th of August 2019. Therefore, we would like to explain to you the basis of our damage claim. Based on our documents, the new damage to the rear wheel on the passenger side occurred during your rental time from the 13th, blah, blah, till 21st of July. The rental contract was not based on coverage. It's very key here. Therefore, you are liable for the full amount for damage during your rental time. I got this. I knew the risk I was taking when I turned down their coverage at the time of the rental and I accepted that, but I didn't expect that they were going to use that, let's say against me or treat damage differently if I take the coverage versus I didn't take the coverage. And that's what I tried to ask them. Now they go on to say, according to German law, it is legal to settle a claim based on the repair cost calculation of an expertise. So, I mean, there's, there's a translation gap here, but they're, they're saying it's okay to bill me based on the opinion of an expert. So you bring it to somebody, they say it needs a new wheel. They're okay charging me that. They're essentially saying that a surface scratch on a wheel cannot be repaired to factory specification by repairing it. My problem here is that I think that they treat damage differently if you have their insurance or that you don't. If you have their insurance, I guarantee if you pay $20 for their insurance for the day and you d damage a wheel, they're sending it right down to the end of the street to get repaired and then they deem that sufficient. I don't know if this wheel hasn't been repaired yet. This wheel could have been damaged by somebody else and repaired already. I don't know that because when you repair a wheel for a surface scratch, you can't tell if it's been repaired or not. The repair process makes the wheel essentially as good as new. So for them to say that this wheel was not correctable by a basic repair is essentially saying if you scratch the front bumper, we have to replace the front bumper to bring it back to factory spec which is not correct. It is, it is a, a patent misrepresentation of what they, they are, I don't wanna say entitled to, but what would return that car to the condition it was prior to my renting it. Now, I'm talking about every one of these cars here, and I, I don't know specifically if any of these cars have had damaged wheels, but you have Bugattis, Ferraris, any high performance car, car you can think of repairs the wheels. Any dealership repairs wheels the same way I'm proposing, the same way I repair my wheels, and they're not unsafe, they're not out of balance, there's nothing different than a factory wheel once it's been cosmetically repaired. And that's really my problem here, is that they're saying that they're entitled by German law to bend me over and charge me for a full replacement wheel because this third party guy said it needs a new wheel. All the cars that we got had damaged wheels already, had damaged front bumpers on them. And they, I don't know, I don't know if that wheel was even replaced. I've, I've put in my email that I want them to, since I'm paying for this wheel, I'm not, I, obviously they're not giving me an opportunity to, to contest it, that I want them to provide that wheel. I have the photographs of the damage. I want my wheel back. If you're making me pay for one, that's now my wheel and I would like it back. And they haven't responded back to that yet. 
Um, you'll know I'm not going to make another video detailing if they send it back or not, but if they do, if they say they don't ship it to the US, I've got all these contingency plans. I have people that live in Frankfurt that will go there and pick it up anywhere in Frankfurt for me uh, and then mail it back to me, but at least you'll know what happens if I have a BMW wheel coffee table here. You'll know the story behind that. If you choose to rent through Sixth, which this, this brings up like a serious, like, well, maybe you want to go to a different company. I'm not saying any companies are better or worse in Germany. I don't know. But given this experience and the way I'm, I'm treated even confronting them on this damage, this may be a wider spread way that they treat people that don't purchase their insurance. Either purchase their insurance. Again, don't get me wrong. Beautiful car. Everything else went flawlessly the entire process. But this it is a very sour note at the end of the rental, especially when I said like, look, I brought a group, we spent over 20,000 euros renting cars with you guys for a week. For a company that rents cars for 20 euros a day, you'd think that would mean something or carry a little bit of weight to be like, oh, you know what, don't worry about that scraped wheel. But no, uh, that's not the case. If you do rent from them, I'm not saying you're not gonna get a good car, but make sure you take the insurance because it's just preventing something like this from happening, a windshield, a rock chip, uh, and whatever it is, you don't want to get a rock chip on the hood. And next thing you know, they say you need a new hood. And that's the, the equivalent of what I've done. I've done minor damage, which if I had their insurance, they would fix it one way. And they're saying, since I didn't take their insurance, they're choosing to fix it another way and charge me a lot of money. And it could be because I'm international because it's, I, I'm a foreign uh, person renting the car. I don't know but I don't like it. So uh, you can try any of the other companies over there as well if you have any stories about being charged for stuff. I did have other people reach out that said uh, they were also put through the ringer over there in similar form from, uh, from the same company, but uh, that is just my experience and I will leave it at that. So there you go, uh, there's the wrap up of this. Obviously BMW wheel coffee table, you know what happened no coffee table. I don't know. Uh, I'll update you guys in, in a brief update if this does get resolved in any way other than me paying full fare on the wheel, which uh, I will be doing by the 31st. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Take that as a, uh, take it for what it is. Uh, if you feel it's a, it's a necessary warning, or if you feel like, well, you damaged the wheel, you should replace the entire wheel. That's completely up to you. But, um, Again, my, my issue isn't paying for damage, but my issue is paying more than the repair cost. Not because I, and, and I don't think German law entitles them to overcharge me, but they are choosing to overcharge me uh, for something that can easily be fixed. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. For those of you not familiar with my other company, I started a company called Adventure Drives, which combines driving and bucket list travel. It's a lot of fun. If you're interested, Prices can be done per person. It's don't worry. If you don't have somebody to go with you, we can match you up with somebody. You can check the link in the description for adventuredrives.com and sign up today.